Taxi! Taxi! Hey, are you crazy? Crazy for love? The most amazing girl I've ever met leaves on a plane in five minutes! Get in. I get no You asked for it, so we did it. Today, we're learning English with the popular American animated series, Family Guy. And if you are new here, every week we help you to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and even without subtitles. Just like Svetlana, who says that she can now understand even when natives cut and connect their words. And you will too, so just hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so that you don't miss a single new lesson. Dad, can I have 50 bucks for a shamrock tattoo? It's time. All right, but make sure you get it where everyone can see. Hold on, Peter. If Chris wants money for something, maybe it's time he got a part-time job. He could mow lawns or, or babysit. Oh, I can't work. I'm too young. Oh, Will Smith's little kid works as a movie star, even though he looks like a wet baby horse. All right, I suppose I could get a job. Or maybe even my old job as the guy racing through an airport at the end of a romantic comedy. Taxi! Taxi! Hey, are you crazy? Crazy for love? The most amazing girl I've ever met leaves on a plane in five minutes! Get in. What the hell's going on? This guy's in love. Is she worth it? She's a once in a lifetime girl. I'll give you an escort. He drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a lager drink, he drinks a cider drink. He sings the songs that remind no him charge. of the good times. He sings the songs that remind him of the best times. Final boarding call for Ashley's flight to Stuffy New England College. Final boarding. Whoa, 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 child. What's the hurry? The love of my life, that's what. We got a cold Romeo. Repeat. Oh, Romeo! If you get there on time, there's an extra 50 in it for you. I love this job! I get no time. Oh. Ashley, wait! <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Chris, you came! Oh my god! Let me get my grandma. Chris? Ashley, I love you! Oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. Dad, can I have 50 bucks for a shamrock tattoo? It's time. All right, but make sure you get it where everyone can see. A buck is a dollar. A shamrock is this small plant. It is a common choice for tattoos, as it is a symbol for luck and Ireland. Hold on, Peter. If Chris wants money for something, maybe it's time he got a part-time job. A part-time job is a job that, contrary to a full-time job, generally consists of fewer than 30 working hours per week. Mowing the lawn or babysitting are common part-time jobs for teenagers. Meg, I'd love to send you to Paris for a semester, but we can't afford that. But I can pay for it myself. I've been saving up from all my part-time jobs. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Let's now take a look at how to say this sentence fluently. All right, I suppose I could get a job. When he says, I suppose I, he links the last consonant with the vowel sound here. I suppose I. This S is actually pronounced like a Z. Suppose I. Then he says the rest of the sentence in one fluid breath. Could get a job. And this T is between two vowel sounds. It becomes an American T. Getta. Can you say it like him? All right, I suppose I could get a job. All right, I suppose I could get a job. By the way, do you get confused when natives speak fast like this? Well, in our three-part masterclass, we will help you to learn the three secrets to understanding fast native speech. 
which are, first off, connected speech, just like you've seen here. Second, learning vocabulary that we natives really use. And then third, understanding the culture so that you can laugh at all of the jokes. It is absolutely free, so I recommend that you sign up now by clicking up here, or you can click down in the description below. Well, maybe even my old job as the guy racing through an airport at the end of a romantic comedy. You're probably familiar with the word race, as in a car race. As a noun, we also say it to refer to a situation in which you have to do something very quickly because you have little time available. There's still a lot more groceries in the car. Well, it's not a race. Take a break. As is the case in this clip, it's also common to use this word as a verb. Notice in this case how it can be used with different prepositions. He raced across the city. He raced to meet her. He raced through the airport. What the hell's going on? The hell is one of people's favorite words to add emphasis in a question. You'll hear this as what, how, why, where, the hell. Where the hell is Quagmire? But be careful if you say it, because it could be considered impolite. In that sense, heck is a little bit safer. Meg's talking to a boy! Okay, sure, what the heck? Here, take my card. And in this question, what the hell is going on, going on means happening. Example, I don't know what's going on. What the hell's going on? This guy's in love. Is she worth it? She's a once in a lifetime girl. I'll give you an escort. If something is worth it, it means that it is good enough for the required effort, trouble, or expense. In this case, this girl is worth racing to the airport for. This expression is used with many different meanings. Check out these examples. The resulting explosion was the Big Bang. So if you kill me, you're killing yourself and everything else that ever existed or will exist. Worth it! Dad and I spent more time together planning this wedding than we ever have before. And if being married means I get to spend even more time with my dad, then it's worth it. Chris answers, she's a once in a lifetime girl. This is a common way to describe something or someone as being a great thing or person. Literally, it means it is completely unique. Example, for me, living in Japan for a year was a once in a lifetime experience. This exhibit is a once in a lifetime event. It's the first time these Egyptian artifacts have been allowed out of England. She's a once in a lifetime girl. I'll give you an escort. If police or guards escort someone, they give them protection as they take that person somewhere. Example, the presidential car was escorted by the police. No charge. If something has no charge, it's free. Other verb patterns are to be charged for something, or the one used if you say charge a certain amount for a thing. People at farmer's markets would go nuts for this. You know, you could probably charge like $20, $30 a jar. Final boarding call for Ashley's flight to Stuffy New England College. Final boarding. A call, in this context, is a request or order for something or someone to do something. This is a boarding call, meaning a call for someone to board, meaning get on the plane. There's no way to guess what their target is. Final, Final boarding, boarding call. And by the way, if you're learning English, it's very likely that you will need to speak it at the airport, right? That's why we made this lesson teaching you everything that you need to communicate confidently at the airport. You can find that in the description down below, and I highly recommend that you watch it after you finish this lesson. Whoa, 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 child! What's the hurry? This is an expression that we say when someone is doing something too quickly. Example, what's the hurry? We've got plenty of time. Ashley, wait! <sighs> I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Rush hour is the time of day when the roads, buses, trains, etc. are most full because people are traveling to or from work. There's a lot of traffic. Oh boy, looks like cartoon rush hour is just kicking in. The fare is the price you have to pay to travel by bus, taxi, train, etc. Taxis often charge what's called a rush hour fare, which is a more expensive fare because of rush hour.
Oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. If you groan, you make a deep sound like the one in this clip. Spirit Airlines is a budget airline in the USA, infamous for very basic service. So he says, you get what you get. Another way we often say this is you get what you pay for, meaning that you shouldn't expect exceptional quality or service if something is cheap. Dad, can I have 50 bucks for a shamrock tattoo? It's time. All right, but make sure you get it where everyone can see. Hold on, Peter. If Chris wants money for something, maybe it's time he got a part-time job. He could mow lawns or, or babysit. I can't work. I'm too young. Well, Will Smith's little kid works as a movie star, even though he looks like a wet baby horse. All right, I suppose I could get a job. Or maybe even my old job as the guy racing through an airport at the end of a romantic comedy. Taxi! Taxi! Hey, are you crazy? Crazy for love. The most amazing girl I've ever met leaves on a plane in five minutes. Get in. I get no What the hell's going on? This guy's in love. Is she worth it? She's a once-in-a-lifetime girl! I'll give you an escort! He drinks a whiskey drink, he drinks a vodka drink, he drinks a lager drink, he drinks a cider drink, he sings the songs that remind no him charge. of the good times, he sings the songs that remind him of the best times. Final boarding call for Ashley's flight to Stuffy New England College. Final boarding. Whoa, 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 chow! What's the hurry? The love of my life, that's what! We got a code Romeo! Repeat, code Romeo! If you get there on time, there's an extra 50 in it for you. I love this job. I get no time. Oh. Ashley, wait! <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for all the rush hour fares in Big Town. Chris, you came! Oh my god! Let me get my grandma. Chris? Ashley, I love you. <laughs> oh, you're groaning at me? You paid $19 to fly Spirit Air. You get what you get. All right, well, I hope you've had a lot of fun today and laughed a ton with Family Guy. I bet that this helped you with your listening, right? However, a lot of learners tell me that their biggest frustration is actually speaking because they just don't have anyone to speak English with. Now that is exactly why we have built the Real Life app. At the touch of a button, you can connect to other learners around the world to practice your speaking in fun and dynamic, short conversations while also learning about other cultures. And in addition to this, you will continue to improve your listening with real life native conversations that include transcripts and vocabulary practice. And guess what? All of this is free. Now, does this sound like a dream? Well, now it's a dream come true. So download it and improve your English communication now by clicking the link down in the description or you can just search for the Real Life English app in the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. See you there. England is so classy. Every cab has its own butler. Actually, I'm not a butler. I had already hired this cab when you got in, but the more the merrier and all that. <laughs> Make with the tea, Jeeves. Yes, very good, sir. <laughs>